The new iPhone looks kind of boring. Thankfully, we've got 10 of our favorite cases, so it doesn't have to be. <sighs> so let's check it out. Now, this may be the last clear case you'll ever buy, because unlike others that turn out looking like this, yellow, dirty, and a little smelly too, sort of like myself, the dbrand ghost case promises, no, it guarantees that it will never turn yellow, because if it does, they will replace your ghost case for free. And I don't think I've ever seen any other case company with bigger balls and an even bigger wallet. The case itself though is as you'd expect, textured and clicky buttons, protection in all the right places, and a surprisingly strong MagSafe ring that passes my scientific shake tests. However, what sets them apart from other clear cases, taking notes from their very own grip case, is this black rubber strip around the whole case. This makes whole Holding a glossy case, well, suck way less, while also doubling as some much needed bumper protection too. So when you get a case that will actually let you show off your iPhone, it only makes sense that you spice it up inside too, as it can easily accommodate their whole line of skins too. Because come on, your phone officially has more riz than you do now. Better yet, complete the 360 degrees of coverage with their glass screen protector, which offers two in the box because knowing you, you'll probably need it. It has a nice curved edge so it doesn't cut into you, a precision fit going around the whole screen, and this, able to handle a drill to the face and still coming out shinier than my forehead. So this is for those who want to ensure that others know you own the newest iPhone, but also just suck at holding things, which means this just might be the combo to beat. Our leather pick, but also just an all around wicked cyberpunk futuristic from 2069 type of case, which you don't see combined quite often, the Alumu A15 vegan leather case. And while you don't see the inside very often, they've still taken the time to complete the look there too, with graphics that make it feel like you're holding the iPhone 69, but it's this tiny window they've built on the outside that really takes the cake. Meant as a cooling window, which makes sense given how hot the 15 series gets, it's the metal detailing combined with the etched in lines around the leather and some of the most prominent and clickiest buttons we've tested that will have others second guessing whether you're from the future or not. Now it's not meant to be a super protective case, but they do offer a thick lip around the camera consisting of their plastic shell. So while it does lack any impact absorption inside, combined with the lip around front, it's got you plenty covered for your daily dings and dongs. Honestly, this is the one you get if you want the coolest looking case or just need a backup cheese grater on the fly. Plus, it's the one time that I'd recommend the white over the blackout. Damn. If you know, you know. The G3 was ahead of its time in design and overall cool factor, but thankfully, Spigen has brought back its see-through shell vibe with the C1 case. There's something about retro tech and translucent designs that makes any 90s kid a little jealous they couldn't afford it two decades ago. Obviously now, it's upgraded with the inclusion of impact foam, MagSafe rings, and even though not actually functional, the 3D internal chips give it a IRL feel that will definitely be a conversation starter at your next Christmas party. The binds are kind of squishy, but offers protection where it matters around the camera and front screen too. Plus, it's available in three colorways that honestly all have their own techie nerd vibe to them, and combined with the air pocket corners that we've tested and loved in previous cases, it's a case that you can confidently pass around to show off and not care about clumsy Kelly dropping it every single time. For what is now my favorite MagSafe accessory system, the spec click lock mount can be found on several of their cases, but the Presidio grip is hands down my favorite. However, the real star of the show is this, solving the biggest problem there is with MagSafe, actually keeping the accessories in place. So with Spec's magnetic click lock system, you can actually trust to use accessories like their phone stand and have it pass my scientific poke tests without ever falling off. Now there is a whole range of other MagSafe attachments too, but taking a closer look at the case, the engraved textured edges make it so your fingers have something to feel up while also offering protection around the back, front, and plenty of internal impact absorption too, which is why the click lock takes the cake. It's a system that doesn't get in the way of just using your iPhone as an iPhone while being quickly and easily accessible without having to deal with locks or latches to clip it all in place. This one feature blows the Apple silicone case 
out of the water because not only is having a stand built into the camera ring genius, the silicone case of the ESR Cloud Series feels and acts just like Apple's very own while coming in at half the cost for double the functionality. The metal ring also acts as a giant cage for your camera too and I've smacked this hinge around enough to know it ain't failing anytime soon. Overall, it's slim and comfortable in the hand Plus, the camera ring also makes for a free built-in fidget toy too. Straight up, if you suck at holding things, you need a mouse case. A channel favorite every year because I know if I did this, my iPhone would be safe. We've done some pretty crazy drop tests with the mouse limitless case before, mainly because they claim it can handle it, which, spoiler alert, it can, but on top of that, they're also known for their use of real materials, like this beautiful walnut to match my flooring, and obviously carbon fiber because carbon fiber, but it's this goopy green material inside they call AeroShock that really matters. Keeping your iPhone safe through the regular day to day while also being one of the very few tough cases that won't cause you to pull a muscle while holding it. They utilize a raised top and bottom lip around front, so when you swipe right on Tinder, you still get the full range of motion without the case getting in the way. The grooved edges do help give your fingers some feeling too, however, if you really suck at holding things, just slap on a lanyard and never drop your phone again. Now, it's still a thick case relatively when compared to the actual phone, but it's the trade-off for what is the best looking, feeling, and performing tough case we've ever tested. It's hard to find a wallet case that doesn't scream, I'm holding all your life savings inside. Hence why Bellroy's three card series is my go-to option because the mechanism to reveal the cards is based on magnets, giving it a cleaner, minimal look while completely hiding your debit card with $11 and change left over. For the travelers, there's even a SIM card slot within the case to swap and store it safely. Otherwise, it's hidden if you never plan on using it too. The bold, rounded edges combined with the smoother leather feels comfortable to grip onto. However, the buttons aren't as raised as I prefer it, and they've also promised to actually fill in the action button cover with a dedicated button in future production runs too. So for holding three cards secretly and securely inside, I'm just surprised the added bulk didn't give me a hand cramp every time I reached across the screen. Plus, the magnetic door is basically a free fidget toy too as it snaps back with a satisfying click and flush design. It passed my scientific shake test without opening ever on its own, but the beauty is in how convenient it is to retrieve any of the cards. Year after year, Nomad's leather folio case is still one of the very few I recommend if you're into carrying books around. Made of Horween leather, basically the best of the best in my opinion, it's thick, durable, and honestly just smells the best too. Inside is lined in a felt like wool material, giving the whole case a very rustic dad vibe sitting with a whiskey by the fireplace. Looking back at how amazing his life was because his phone case lasted just as long and has aged just as gracefully. The aluminum buttons are clicky and structured, even through the leather covered spine too. Plus, there's also dual lanyard holes because you probably don't want to risk losing both your wallet and your phone at the same time. Speaking of which, it's got three dedicated card slots, perfect for an ID, credit, and transit card, with a larger sleeve pocket for receipts, cash, and even your daily essentials. And even before breaking it in, the stiffer dark brown leather looks fantastic next to the black rubber case. But when combined with the optional magnetic strap, while it's not a permanent lock, it does a great job ensuring you've got 360 degrees of coverage upon landing. Don't worry, Horween leather is meant to be tossed around and handled on the daily because like you, it grows character and only looks better over time. Plus, you don't have to worry about it falling apart as they've taken the time to seal the edges, clean up their stitching, and their rubber case inside offers up to eight feet of drop protection too. Win-win. I can barely call this one a case because it's more like a thick skin, but if all you want is scratch protection, the totally cases have been my go-to when I want to keep it as minimal as possible and add that matte finish over the glossy one of the iPhone. Literally just a thin sheet of plastic. It's like saran wrapping your phone, but it's the perfect option for those who hate the bulk of a case yet have sweaty palms and want to avoid wiping off their phone every time they touch it. When it comes to hanging your iPhone in weird places, 
you can't count on MagSafe to always keep it in place. So in comes Quad Lock and their dedicated mounting system built into their case. Literally a separate piece of plastic mounted around back that surprisingly doesn't get in the way or add too much bulk for how secure it feels when locked in place. The matte black finish and curved edges feel amazing to hold, clicky buttons and camera protection as you'd expect. And with the added thickness, while it is a little tougher to use one handed, offers some much needed protection in case the mount ever does fail on you, which at least in my records has never done so. You are required to use their own line of accessories, but they offer so many options, it's hard not to find something that fits your needs. Bell clips, table stands, wireless chargers, and what is probably the most useful, bike mounts. The one place you want to make sure when your iPhone is locked in, it's locked in, which makes it perfect for car dash mounts too, because no amount of road rage will cause this to fall on its own. The best part though, when used as a case, the mount doesn't get in the way, whether for other regular MagSafe accessories or even their finger accessory that makes it even more comfortable to use that, wait for it, also folds away so it never gets in the way either. Comment down below if you want to see more cases or accessories, but that's it. I rest my iPhone 15 cases.